Seen it, Mr. Top Growth Director, I'm sorry, Program Quality Director Neil and the team. For those of you who haven't seen it, this is the email that a new member gets. Well, at least one new member got this particular email uh, when they first enrol in Pathways. One of the things, this actually came to a new club, and the reason I got sent a copy was because some of the members hadn't received it. When we looked into it, the reason for that was that their email addresses had been incorrectly transcribed from their membership application forms mm. into TI. So it's always a good thing if somebody is complaining that they haven't had anything from TI, get the club to check that they have actually got on the right email addresses being registered. So as you can see, it's quite a comprehensive email. It's got several steps to it. <coughs> does have links embedded in it, even if you can't read it from where you're sitting, has links embedded into it to the various places that there are resources. Okay? If you need to see what that is all about, let me know and we'll do something about that. Wait a minute. So, let's go to Pathways. You'll be familiar with this page, I hope, by now, because this is where you go to Basecamp and you choose whether you're going to log in as a member. If you are a Basecamp manager or you're in every club, we have three officers who are designated as Basecamp managers, right? The President, the Vice President of Education and the Secretary all have access to Basecamp management. As members, we all have access to Basecamp once we have registered. Did you actually ask the question, has everybody in this room registered for Pathways yet? Oh, yes. <laughs> has everybody in the room, has anybody in the room who's not yet selected their path? Has not yet done their icebreaker? Nobody's... Kerry? I've done the icebreaker. Oh, well, there we are. First challenge. <laughs> Opportunity. Opportunity. Do your icebreaker. <laughs> it's a fabulous thing to do. And I, I've had people say to me, well, why do we have to do an icebreaker again? This is experienced yeah. people. People have been toast us for ages. <coughs> because you've grown, the people you're talking to are probably didn't hear your first icebreaker. They have no idea about you. It's a wonderful opportunity to revisit it, to, to revisit your own story and to tell a new group of people about yourself and, and demonstrate the skills that you've learned since you've been in Postmasters. All right, so if you're a Basecamp manager, you get two login buttons. Login as a member and login as a Basecamp manager. Because if you're in multiple clubs, you also get a drop down to multiple club, four clubs. I'm going to choose this particular club today because it's one I happen to be a Basecamp manager in. And when you go in, when you're logged in, I thought I was logged in and I was dropped off. Right, have another go. When you go in as a base camp manager, you get presented with these three tiles. And this is where you would go if you have been sent a level completion request. The first tile on the left is pending requests, and you click on that and it will show you a list of all the people who have asked for their levels to be approved. Oftentimes, there's only going to be one name there, but you might have multiple ones. Hopefully, they haven't been there for too long. The question that arose yesterday was how do I get a certificate for a member so that we can present it at the club? For those members who don't bring a certificate. So I'm going to go on to member progress. Maybe. If we're very lucky. Coming. Come on, don't let me down. When you go into member progress as a base camp manager, you can look at the transcript for every member in your club who has got your club as a home club. Of course, you may have members in your club who are in other clubs, and if they're not, if they haven't selected your club as the home club, you won't be able to see them. 
And over on the right hand side here, it says, actually it's not where I wanted to go, sorry. Uh, it says search. So if I search for a member, then I can bring up this gentleman's record, his base camp profile, and I can view the team up there, so I can actually select down the left hand side there, you can now see the whole membership of the club that are registered for Pathways. And now uh, logged into this club as their home club. And so then we've selected, uh, let's select this one here. It's a fairly new club member. And now, I'm going to figure it out again. We can go to this, if we get the feedback requests. And at the bottom there we can see which roles have been uh, which roles have been done and put on the website. Now does everybody know how to log on, log in their Toastmaster role, their general evaluator role, their grammarian role? Have you all done that? Mm -hmm. yep. That's another thing that they can do. Well, what you need to look for is the gear wheel on the yeah. top there. Yeah, I always forget this gear. The, the gear wheel. <laughs> and let it drop down and then go to my account and that will help you to find that. Uh, okay, and that of course gone to my account, which is not very helpful because it's not very much to look at. But once you've gone there, you can see all the roles that are uh, that you can log on, log it, log against your account as a member, and you put the date in there that you did it last. It only remembers the last time you did it. We can't get a history of how often you've done the role, but that's um, Kingsley. Yeah. <clears throat> what if you haven't entered the the date? You haven't. You, you perform the role, and a few weeks later, oh shit, I forgot to enter that. You can go back and do that. Just click no. on the calendar and select the date. Okay. Okay, so even if you did it back in July, you can go back to do it. Not a problem. Um, now, if we go back, take a step, take a step. So if we go here to transcript, now I can see the education transcript for this particular member that I selected earlier. And we can see that he's uh, on innovative planning and the other bits that are normally in the, a person's account. <coughs> You'll see this where once a new member registers, they'll have these three things. Yes, great. Sorry to interrupt you again. I had a path, effective coaching, yes. and all of a sudden it's disappeared in a puff of smoke. Right. I've had Sharon get onto it. I haven't hot heard back from the, the big the big guns over where of Colorado. Right. Well, we need to follow yeah. it up, and I'm sure that Sharon will. Uh, if she didn't follow it up while she was in Chicago, she'll do that. Now, what we can do, we just just as if we were at the member by ourselves, we can open up the curriculum. We can have a look to see where the member's at. This member's completed his icebreaker, and is yet to do anything in any other level. We can look at the details of level one. And this is where, once the member has completed the path, the level, sorry, the level, then right at the bottom here, level one completion, once that's been approved, that will show view certificate. Mm. You can press that and print out the certificate. Mm. So it's exactly the same as the member can do, but you can do that as a base camp manager. All right. So it's going to the person's transcript under member uh, awards, and then selecting the member, selecting the transcript, looking at the level, and pop your ankle.
as they say. Any questions? <laughs> what was that? Oh, I've got Bob. I said he was until he died. Oh, right. Well, <laughs> maybe it's your case, it's your Aunt Fanny, but. <laughs> He's just revived himself. It's me. Oh. <laughs> Came back to life. Isn't that wonderful? All right. They get to sleep. It's been there. I just. Oh, sorry. 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 Um, I had been signed into Oreki and then I changed my sign into Silver Service because I wanted Silver Service to have the level one. Yes. But when I hit the, um, yeah, please confirm my my level complete, um, Oreki got the got advice the and yeah. dutifully lodged it for find me. It. <laughs> yeah. They, they, so Oreki lodged it for me. So I had to send a message to Education Awards saying, can you? Cancel that one so that some service can go. So we need to log out. So I was signed in the civil service, but I registered the notification. Yes. yes. So if you, so this is this is something that happens for people who are at multiple clubs. Yeah. If you're, if you've chosen as your home club in this case Oraki, the and you send the completion request. The email will go to ORAC. If you then if you then change your club and log into the <coughs> other club, the people at ORAC won't be able to see your pending request anymore. Usually. But obviously something got out of sync because I changed my club first. Yeah. So then the, the, now, the level completion, the level completion is on your record on your transcript it's nothing to do with the club your path is your path it's nothing to do with the club it tra travels with you as you change clubs yeah but the recognition of the DCP goes through but but that only yes but that's a separate step which is when you register the award under club central so what you've got to be careful of is that if you want if you want one club to prove your level completion, but you want the other club to get the award, you've got to make it very clear to both clubs what you're expecting them to do. Yeah, because I reckon you went to lodge to the club central. Right. And if you're very lucky too, I will reverse it. Usually yes, they won't. Christine. What I do is, because I'm from multiple clubs, I always email and say, please confirm that I approve and register it, or just approve, and yes. that way they as well, so I, I go to the club uh, people, but quite often it's, I'm quite lucky, Alan Chisholm's wrong to have quite a few of my clubs, and I just say, can you make sure it's because... Which club? Yeah. Sorry. Mm. It's, it's the, the award of the, uh, the Club Central, which affects your club, the Distinguished Club Program points, and that's the important bit that you've got to get clear, is what you want to do. Yes, yeah, so just email the club. Yeah. Basically, that's what you want. Exactly. All right, that's my time up. If you have any other.